Did he copy my copy uh, my rights? Did he use it without my permission? Did he publish it without my permission? If so, let's get to work. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. So if you look at this question, when is my word protected? You need to try to look at the word protected. What does it mean? Because when you create something, you get certain kind of rights. But it doesn't mean it's protected. But what you need to think about is how can I protect it? And then you need to look out, okay, when is it protected? But the thing is, protected is all based on your action. If you don't take action, nothing will be protected. If you do take action and if you succeed, something will be protected. But you see, if you succeed, that's something you need to keep in mind. So in this video, we're going to talk about when is my work protected, what you need to know and what you don't need to know. I think if you understand how the process works, it's going to help you in the long run. So let's go to the documents. And as we see here, we have a uh, blank space. We're going to draw on it. And just like in a couple of videos, I'll show you the original text of the copyright in the Netherlands. You'll find it in here. Just try to keep in mind, we may have a translation in here, but translation is all about making choices. When you translate something, you need to choose certain kind of words, but it doesn't mean it doesn't apply in your context of situation or not. It's something you need to keep in mind. So if you look at translation, yes, nice, there is a translation, but keep in mind, hey, okay, they make choices when they, when they make the translation. And when you have a translation, try to look for an official translation. The thing is, there isn't a really official translation for the Dutch law, but it's close to the translation of the EU and the WIPO. So don't worry too much about that, but just keep that in mind. And the best thing which you need to do is hire a Dutch lawyer when you have problem in the Netherlands. So. We have here translation and just like last time if you meet those requirements of copyright you have a copyright so technically a little bit recap when you talk about copyright you have an a b c formula this is the rights we talk about it in last video and this is the copyright holder and this is the person that want to use it so these two have a relationship because this is the owner of this right. If he take action, something is protected. If he doesn't take action, nothing is protected. Keep that in mind. And again, if he doesn't take action, nothing will be protected. If he take action, something will be protected. So if you look at the question when, it all depends on him. That's one thing. That's one. Second, it all depends if he has a copyright or not. So if he doesn't have a copyright, he cannot protect anything. He cannot take action or uh, do anything. Hopefully you understand what I mean. So it all depends on do you have in this case B and do you have in this case A. And if so, is C using something that is is he using the right of B? That's the question. So is there a um, publication or is there a reproduction? So let's look at the requirements of copyright so you can understand what I mean. If you look at the first if you look at the first article, they talk about certain kind of requirements for copyright. This is technically your whole right. If you need to describe the copyright, this is your whole thing. Okay? Reason is because they tell you what your rights are. They tell you you need to be a maker, you need to have a work, and your right is you're allowed to publish it and you're allowed to reproduce it. But there are some limitations by the law. Technically, this is copyright in a nutshell. But you need to break it down. You need to break it down. So if you look at the English definition, we also highlight certain kind of things that's important here. Exclusive right, author, public, reproduce, limitation. And last time we forgot about the work. That's why this is important. But yeah, work. So we highlight these things. When we have a situation, we need to look at all these things. 
and the best thing to do that is just look at the ABC formula. So A is the work itself, the right that you have. So A is technically the work. Your right is public and reproduce. That's A. B is the author. It's that simple. And A, you can also include the limitation because if there is a limitation, you cannot do anything because you don't have copyright on that situation. Hopefully you understand what I mean. And then, um, exclusive rights. Let me try to explain it again. Exclusive rights. So let's say we have exclusive right here. Let's call this. This is publication and reproduction. That's the definition of exclusive right. If you have a copyright, you're allowed to make it public and you are the only one that might uh, make a copy of it. Unless there's a limitation or you give someone a license to use it. Try to keep that in mind. So hopefully you understand. But then we're going to look at the question again. When is my copyright protected? And in order to answer the question, we need to think about, okay, do, do I have on the copyright or not? What are the requirements of the copyright? And if you look at the requirements in here, this is the Dutch definition. We are trying to keep as close to the Dutch definition. I'll show you the English translation so you can see how it works. This is copyright in a nutshell. What is copyright, exclusive rights, and those things. But we need to talk about when do you have copyright. So if you look at it, you see in Article 10, you see a list of things, of examples, where you can have copyright on it. This is not a limited list, so that means that everything in here can be an example. But you can go outside of this. So it doesn't mean only the things that are in this part. So only the things that are in this part. You can get copyright on it. No, no, no. You can go outside of it. So they give you, for example, um, if you create a book. You, you wrote that book. You create a great story. And uh, you publish it. Or you show some people. You have copyright on it. Yeah. The only thing is you need to have an article 10 but that's something that they do not put in the law itself but there has to be a certain kind of creativity behind it let me give you an example if you create an um let's say an uh, a software everybody can fill it in and the software will create let's say a meme the picture on the meme can be copyright protected but the meme itself because everyone can create it it's not copyright protected but if you put an let's say they call it in the dutch a personal sample but if you put something personal in it or you put some kind of creativity in it based on that situation people can say hey in this situation you have copyright on it that's what makes copyright so difficult you need to look at the situation and when do you have copyright on something? So you need to look at every situation in this situation. Do you have copyright? Yes or no. Do you have copyright? Yes or no. Do you have copyright? Yes or no. And the thing is, we will come back in another video about that. But for example, on website. If you have a website, there can be copyright on a website. But the question is, what is the copyright? And what is protected? The style itself is not protected, but the content can be protected. It depends who make it. You understand? So if you look at copyright, you need to look at different kind of things of copyright. And when you look at situation, you need to just say, determine, do I have copyright on this? Do I have copyright on this? And do I have copyright on this? And that's why you need to look at this list. So you have this list here in Dutch. Here you also have the list. And this is in English. Yeah? And when you look at this, you can look at this list, but try to remember this list is not limited. So there can be other situations where you can have copyright, but it's not in here. For example, if you create lectures, you have copyright on the lecture. Technically, when you create them themselves, you put certain kind of personal sample on those lectures. So in a very 
um, in the most common situation, it's very likely that you will have copyright on uh, those things. Because if I teach, for example, and my teaching, uh, people want to sell them, those teaching, I have copyright on it. Because something personal, I'm doing it myself. But what about if someone else is doing it? It depends on the relationship. It depends on the situation. It depends if you hire someone. It depends on the situation. What did you put in a contract or not? Who does copyright belong to? Sometimes you need to ask people, you know what? You need to do some distance of your copyright and give everything to me. Transfer your copyright to me. So copyright can be really difficult. I hope it's not scaring you. But was protected by copyright so technically they are saying um if i look at this translation it's not correct you see here yeah this that's what i mean by that you see the translation works protected by copyrights the problem is they they are not protected it's just you have rights when you create those works well if you take action or not that depends if it's protected or not. Remember I explained to you, if the copyright holder doesn't take action, doesn't mean the thing is protected. So you see here, again, if you look at this translation, it's not technically wrong, but it's not correct. Because if you look at here, they're saying, the werke waarop auteursrecht bestaat. So technically they're saying, works where you can have copyright on it. And I think because of the literary, um, Translation, they didn't put it in here, but this is a uh, really bad translation if you look at the title. But like I said, not protected. It's just like work on that works you have copyright on it. If I create a picture, it's a work that I created. And on that picture, I have copyright on it. If I put it on Facebook and someone copy it, if I don't do anything about it, yeah, it's not protected. But if someone take it on Facebook and I do something about it, it's protected. Because if I successful do something about it, then it's protected. So this translation, if you look at here, it's not technically wrong. It's not a bad translation. It's just the way how you look at it. You can have a different opinion. Let me know in the comments. Feel free to let me know. But try to look at it. When is something protected? You need to look at the situation. Okay. Am I the copyright holder? Do I have a copyright on it? Is there a limitation? If no, what did C do? Did he copy my copy of my rights? Did he use it without my permission? Did he publish it without my permission? If so, let's get to work. Let's protect my work. If not, I cannot do anything about it. Because you can. Simply, you cannot. And that's the thing with copyright. It can be complicated, but it can also be simple. If you understand the situation, if you understand how it works, it can help you a lot. So if you look at the question, when is my copyright protected? So when is my work protected? It depends. It depends really on the situation. If the situation is right, you can protect it by yourself. If not, then you cannot do anything about it. You have to deal with it. If there is a limitation in law, you have to deal with it. So in this video, we talk about when is my work protected? Like I said, there's a lot of questions that you need to ask yourself before you can answer this. And try to remember when you talk about protected, you talk about if someone is going to take action or not. In this case, are you going to take action if someone used your work without your permission? Yes or no? That's something you need to keep in mind. And try to keep in mind is when you look at the work, do you have copyright on the work? If not, then it's really hard to protect your work. So if you have question about this or if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have question about this, let's go to the Discord, ask me directly, and I will see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.